Ah oh, man, what is this? What is this magical little kind of disgusting rubber thing that we have here? Well, if we turn it around, <gasps> it's an iPad! But this ain't any old iPad. If we take off the cover, we can discover that it's a first gen iPad released all the way back in 2011, making this thing 10 years old. It may seem deceptively thin, but then you look at how curvy it is and oh yeah, this thing is a chunkster. This is the iPad that started it all. But how does it compare to something like this? So here I have the 2011 iPad first gen and here I have the 2018 iPad Pro. Oh, why couldn't you get a 2021 model? So it's exactly 10 years apart. Well, listen. The reason I didn't get a 2021 iPad Pro is because they are so freaking expensive and uh, well, the 2018 model is very similar to the 2021 model minus the cameras, the LiDAR sensor and well, uh, the specs I guess. So let's take a look at the first gen iPad. This is actually in pretty good condition so we're gonna slap this thing back onto it in order to preserve its beauty so I don't end up scratching it. Don't mind the scratches, this is a plastic screen protector from back in the day. Alright, in you go, buddy. I know you hate this case, but, you know, you look so beautiful and I just want to preserve your inner beauty. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, let's turn it on. There it is, with its default background and everything. Let's just slide to unlock. Whoa! Check out all the apps! Let's see what we got here, we've got the calendar, with today's actual date on there, it really is Saturday the 10th of July. We have contacts, notes, maps, videos, pretty much all the same apps. But YouTube? YouTube? And what is that icon? That's not the YouTube icon, that's a TV. Oh. We have the iTunes store, RIP iTunes. The App Store, Settings. We also have Safari. Oh, I don't want to open Safari. We have Safari, Mail, Photos, and iPod? Are you trying to tell me they shoved an entire iPod in here? Yes. Alright, let's see what we can do with this thing. We have the calendar. Oh my god, it's an actual book! And then when you tap, it actually flips the pages. This was a little thing called skeuomorphism. It's basically a design trend where you design things based on real objects. So you can see the texture in the book and the pages and oh it just makes sense. And it basically helps people who don't know technology very well to kind of understand what's going on. Because they're stupid. We also have contacts and oh my god. Whoa it's another book. Whoa. It's so cool guys. Because it's, it's like a real book. We also have notes here and just look at Oh my god, this camera. And just look at the details on this. You have the leather stitching around. This is a very beautifully designed app. I do kind of miss this design styling. Alrighty lads, we're gonna take a look at maps now. And whoa, look at that. We're in England. Ugh, British people. Nah, I'm just kidding. But like, it's such a big screen and you can zoom in and you can see why people back in 2011 love this shit because it's so smooth and doesn't lag even to this day because, well, this thing didn't get updates. Let's take a look at Westminster, bruv. Oh, it's the I Victoria in it. They serve biscuits. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we've got. We have videos. There's, there's no videos. Let's go to YouTube. Oh. Yeah, I've already tried signing in on this thing, this just doesn't work anymore. However, this thing did work up until about 2016, that's the last time I was able to get this working, and I do have a few screenshots of that. Pretty cool, pretty epic. It sort of functioned a lot like old style YouTube, it even had the 5 star rating system still, but with all the modern videos, it was actually kind of nice. Alrighty boys, let's take a look at iTunes. Hmm. Okay, so I just typed in my password and surprise, surprise, nothing happened. Literally nothing. Oh, it's loading! It's loading! Oh my god! Oh, here's new music. Man, Jimmy Barnes, 
You're great artist, but this song is really average. Man, I still can't believe you can pay $17 for Flesh and Bud by Jimmy Barnes. Oh, look at this. We have the new Apple Music stuff on here. This is so weird. No, that's really cursed. I don't like this. Oh, boys, let's get three free months of Apple Music. Oh, oh well, uh, never mind, I guess. Let's go to the App Store now. Oh, yeah, these things take forever to load. All my apps are up to date. Yeah, sure, mate, sure. And it's loading. It's loading. Oh, there we go. We can get a Visco on my iPad first gen. Yeah, absolutely none of these apps will work. Procreate. Yeah, let's get Procreate. Oh, uh, jeez. Well, uh, let's, let's get Visco. I want to become a Visco girl. Install. Install. It's not, it's not doing anything. Install. I want to become a Visco girl. Yeah, this is just not working at all. Oh, I can scroll on this one. Ah, oh, Play Inc, Geometry Dash, Monopoly. Uh, what else we got? Procreate Pocket. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> you reckon this thing can run Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? Oh, come on. Oh my god, this thing is broken. What the hell? Oh. Oh, everything's messed up now. Oh, this is this is um, a little painful to look at, actually. All right, well, we're going to give up on the uh, dream of the App Store. Well, I guess we could take a look at the settings app, because that's exciting. All right, what software version is this running? This is running iOS 3.2.2. All right, boys, let's try going on Safari. Yeah, you can already tell I've uh, tried to do this before. Um... You can't get very far, but you can go to Google Images. Oh, you can't even load up the image of a newer iPad. Alright, well, let's try uh, loading YouTube, except we can't because uh, something went wrong. Please try again. We've got 46 errors in the debug console. Oh god, this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is just not gonna work. Well, you can't even browse the internet with this thing anymore. That is kind of ridiculous, actually. Mail. I don't expect this one to work. Mobile me, bruh. You don't need this when you've got an iPod built in to your iPad. Oh, there's music on here, let's go. Okay, long story short, it works. You can still use this as a glorified iPod. Well, that sucked. Yeah, you can search, uh, I don't know, iPad, calculator. Ah uh, yes, so since iPads, even to this very day, don't come with built-in calculator apps, you have to like, download these really shitty third-party calculator apps, and these two are the only two custom apps I still have on here. So, let's launch it. Oh, would you look at that, what's an upgrade to the Pro version? Oh, all these ads, check them out. Oh, that's a nice sound. So yeah, this is what happens when you don't bundle in a calculator up into your iPad. You get crap like this, even to this very day. We still have this problem. Come on, Apple! Oh my god, that is so slow. <laughs> that is so slow, look at it. We also have this other app on here that you can't get anymore called Bump. And, well, what this... Ah, uh, crashed. What this app would let you do is basically, you get your other Apple device and you just share files by bumping with each other. It, it's so weird, but it actually worked really well. It's how we got a lot of photos onto this thing back in the day. So as you can see, if I try and launch it, it launches in this little mini view because it's an iPhone app trying to run on the iPad screen, but it just doesn't work, man. So that's pretty much it. That's all you can do on this thing. This thing, completely and utterly useless. The fact that this only got two software updates and is still running iOS 3.2 means that you cannot do a single thing on this thing. This is completely and utterly useless in today's world and you cannot do anything with it. However, if you got a second gen iPad, then you can do just a little bit more with it. While this thing remains pretty snappy even to this day because it, well, wasn't updated at all, this thing is the complete opposite. They updated the iPad 2 way too much to the point where you can barely use it anymore. In terms of design, this thing is so much more refined than the first iPad. This actually feels like a well-made device. This thing, I don't know, it feels very clunky. It almost feels like a chunky Android tablet from back in the day. Oh, it's on, it's on. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, slide to unlock. Let's see what version this thing's running. This thing is running iOS 9.3.5 and well 
and it runs it, I guess. Why is there zoom on here? Why is there zoom on here? This thing is way more capable of running modern apps. You know, you got Chrome on here for actual proper internet browsing. You can actually watch YouTube on this thing. So one generation, this thing is, well, so much more capable than the previous model. All right, boys, and now for the main event. Let's compare it to the 2018 iPad Pro. All right, let's just take a look at the lock screen. So for this one, you just press the home button and well, there you go, there's lock screen. Uh, oh, where's the home button? You have to double tap. Just look at the difference in the screen. Let's go home now. I have to look into it. There we go. And there we are. Just look at the difference on this thing. Chunky bezels, very, very thin and sleek. So let's just compare some of the things that you can do in here. So here we have the calendar. Uh, we can match this up to this calendar. Three, two, one. Yeah, this one's faster. Now, even though the whole design with the book and everything looks cool, this is just more simple, straight to the point, very easy to see. Like, the problem with skeuomorphism is that they can make things look a bit clunky and uh, a bit hard to find. This is just straight to the point. You know what all these buttons do. You know what everything is. It's just right there where you need it. And then you press the home button to go home, but oh, there's no home button. How do you go home? You just swipe up. We also have notes here. Now on this one, all you could really do is just type, I guess. On the new iPad, you can do the same thing. Whoa, you've got swipe typing. Uh, that's, that's, that's not exactly what I wanted to say. You know, you can have a little floating keyboard, you can make it bigger. And even if you want, you can pull out this bad boy right here and start drawing. Yeah, very cool. Did I even mention the Apple Pencil, which just snaps onto the side like that? It's just, it's really funky, man. But what about Safari, I hear you cry? Surely you can't browse the internet on this iPad either, just like how this one can't. Nah, you'd be completely wrong and quite stupid to assume that, because here we have Safari with full YouTube, full desktop YouTube, uncompromised. You can just go around, watch the videos and do stuff. It's amazing. And also, if you feel so inclined, there's also the YouTube app here, but honestly, I think that uh, desktop YouTube is way better, but you know, the app works a little bit better with touch, uh, touch screens. You can do whatever you want. There's options. At least you can actually use it. This thing can't use the app or the browser to watch YouTube. So you're pretty much stuck doing, well, nothing. Okay, let's launch the app store now. This one's already done, you can browse around, do stuff, you can flick between the tabs really fast. This one, you have to wait for it to load, and load, and load. Would have been faster back in the day. Among us! Oh, but what else can your new fancy iPad Pro do that this thing can't? Uh, how about full Photoshop? And you just start painting and drawing and it's all fantastic, man. Another cool feature on the new iPad is settings. You can just browse the settings just like the iPad 1. I mean, honestly, it's not even a fair comparison at all when this thing can't even browse the internet. When you can just go on Discord on this thing, but then you don't want to go on Discord, you want to go on the Files app, but then you want to go back to Discord, but now you want to go back to the Files app. But then let's just say you want to open up Discord and a little pop-up window here so you can use it while you're browsing your files, but then you want to swipe that away and then you want to get another Files app on the side because you want to drag and drop some items to each other and then resize the windows. Ah, oh, but then you want to open up Discord again because people are messaging you. Ah, oh, but then you want to change your Spotify playlist, you just drop that on top and then you want to switch between Discord, and then you just go home and get rid of all of it. Like, there's just so much you can do on this thing, and this thing... I can open the calendar app. Oh, look at my book. It turns the pages. <laughs> yeah, we've come a long way from uh, this sort of stuff compared to now. Like, the stuff you can do with a modern iPad is kind of ridiculous. So with all these amazing features, with desktop class apps and features, which iPad would you take? Personally, I'll take the first gen iPad because who can't beat the leather stitching and the leather pocket and just the features you can do like opening an app and then closing the app. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just me rambling about iPads, old and new. This has been another video on the channel, Frock for Duck. Say this however you want, I really don't care. And yeah, subscribe for more epic content. Uh, not all my videos are going to be about technology. I will have some other stuff as well, but we'll just wait and see. It's just a random mess of videos and we're all just going to ride this wave together and see where the hell it takes us. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.